Hey guys, how's it going? Mark here from Mixit Studios, back again with another reaction video for you. So for those who are not familiar, this is Sound Engineer Reacts. So I am looking at things from my sound engineer perspective. So looking at the technical aspects of music production. So not so much the music itself as much as I do comment on the music and whether or not, you know, my opinions on the stuff that I'm listening to because I love listening to lots of different music, but it, it's as much about that as it is commenting on the recording and the mix and the production and the mastering and, you know, all those kind of extra aspects to creating music, uh, recorded music. So yes, uh, that is the sort of groundwork. This is, that's how I do things. So I hope you enjoy it. Uh, this is band made that we're checking out today. This is play their song play. This is a live version. A commenter on another video asked me to check this one out specifically as apparently uh, quite a few people have picked up on the guitar not sounding right or something in this, maybe being a bit like low in the mix. Um, and there can be a myriad of reasons for this happening in a live performance, particularly, uh, a, I think this is a broadcast live performance. It's usually not down to the sound engineer not being very good. There is usually more to the story there. Let's have a listen. I'm interested to hear. I've not heard this band yet. I know a bit about them, that they're a Japanese band and uh, they're all female fronted. So yeah, and I think they're kind of in the rock genre. So. Yes, let's have a listen. This is Band Made with Play live. So, yeah, let's check it out. I hope you guys enjoy. All right, immediately. I, I haven't quite heard enough of the track to really uh, sort of start forming an opinion on it yet, but just straight away it struck me. I can kind of guess maybe what, you know, if there were some people wondering about the guitar levels, I could, the lead guitar sounds just fine to me. The rhythm guitar is maybe a little low in the mix. I don't think it's too bad, though. It's definitely, I mean, it's it's audible, but it's also not just audible. I can kind of pick out what is going on with the part, but it... It is kind of mixed, so it's a little more background, which strikes me as this seems like a band where, you know, they're all equally important in their role. So, you know, I kind of want to hear just as distinctive or just as distinctly um, every part that they're playing. Yeah, I guess the vibe is that, and you know, the name Band Made is that they all wear kind of maid type costumes. That seems to be the case, uh, which is cool. Yeah, the drums are very compressed. The snare is very compressed. I mean, that's fairly typical of, um, you know, a live broadcast mix. That quite, There's a whole load of reasons why that happens. Um, but yeah, uh, the bass tone is very nice. Anyway, I want to listen more. Great vocal. Um, I really like the showmanship on display here. They're just all highly skilled. The bassist in particular, she's doing a lot of slap and her tone, her tone is great. 
it's just got like a nice drive to it it's quite gainy um, and just yeah very thick sounding and punches nicely through in the mix the guitars just seem kind of at points they're fine but they just seem to be getting a little washed out at certain moments because the same thing happened with the lead guitar i think really this is just kind of what happens because you'll notice overall like there's quite a lot of reverberance in the sound of everything and um, some of that will be actual reverb effects but from playing uh, an arena size stage just you know looks like a kind of arena size venue there's a lot of reverberance in the you know the very large spaces they're quite often not designed in any real way to sound good acoustically i know that might sound strange but it's just very typical of music venues so a lot of smaller venues this is the case because you know they're set up in pre-existing buildings where there's not necessarily stuff that you can do you can't design them from the ground up with the best sound in mind but then you have a lot of arenas which are far more modern buildings um i know in the uk a lot of you know the arenas we have here they're relatively new buildings and they were definitely built for that purpose so they could have or at least the majority of them so they could have been designed with better acoustics in mind um, it is difficult when you have spaces that large but you know you have it with uh, with theaters and, and auditoriums uh, venues like that um they are actually, you know, they have a lot of acoustic treatment. They're designed acoustically with their structure to sound good. But yeah, so I think what's going on here is that, um, you know, it's a very large reverberant space and that can kind of wash out sounds to a degree. And that can be quite difficult to control well and capture live in a live recording. Great vocal as well. Really strong. great overall production with this the whole you know the lighting uh the video screens you've got going on you know quite a lot of bands i, I guess i would put in a similar-ish bracket like baby metal um when i've seen them you know both in live videos and in in person they have a very strong visual presence visual identity and yeah it's there's something cool about that you know with rock music where that maybe has been not totally lost but just is not so much of a thing anymore where um you know particularly with live it's about putting on a great show and part of that is a strong like visual identity and like the showmanship and and they have that they're just all like very confident they're totally owning it but yeah these are all you know just really competent live players uh, it's all completely live and um just just very impressive they're all highly skilled and a lot of i mean this is definitely rock but there's a lot of interesting um influences going on there um you know because you can hear elements of metal with the kind of blast beats going on with the, the double kick drum and stuff on the drums quite a few different influences going on and some poppier elements like in the chorus you know it's catchy and has that kind of pop progression to it and with some of the like uh synth backing going on and stuff yeah i just like this a lot
we're nearly at the end of the song here, but yeah, I um I definitely get what is going on with with the guitar. It's for rhythm guitar mainly, but just seems to be getting kind of washed out at points a bit. And I think part of this as well is for those who aren't really aware is that when you get a, a broadcast mix like this, I mean, I'm not sure whether this was broadcast over television, but even when it's, you know, just just filmed for a live performance to put out on YouTube or on DVD or Blu-ray or something like that, like quite often what happens is you would think they would, you know, do an entirely separate recording and mix as opposed to what you know is being mixed for in the venue uh, live for the audience that are watching but that doesn't often happen particularly in broadcast so they just take a split from the output of the sound desk that the sound engineer you know is mixing things on to make sound good in the venue in the venue's PA system so they'll be mixing to that to the room acoustics and how the PA system sounds um, balancing things out against the stage volume level so all of that is being factored into how they're mixing things and then that mix also gets taken to be used in the um, recording for the video but then it's then removed from you know how the PA sounded the room acoustics so sometimes I hope what I'm saying makes sense but yeah sometimes when when you remove all those extra factors as you know to how it was being mixed being mixed in the space in the moment to the sound of the room and the PA system suddenly you take all those elements away and things can sound a little imbalanced because you've got this mix without all those extra influences um, so yeah hopefully that makes sense the vocal the lead vocal on this um, sounds really 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 good like obviously she's got a great voice so that helps a lot but it's just really nicely recorded. I can't quite tell what microphone she's using. I can see on some of the background vocals that the uh, guitarist and, and bassist are doing. They are on SM58s, which is the pretty much that's the microphone you see everywhere in live performances for sure. SM58. Um, yeah, very very interest. You know, well respected industry standard microphone that just is kind of a jack of all trades it just works pretty well pretty much on any voice um you know you, you don't get too many problems with like feedback from the stage monitors or pa system and stuff so they're just good mics to use for live performances but the main vocal the lead singer uh, i think she might be using a sennheiser mic um or something like that it's not an sm58 i can tell that much i'm pretty sure anyway uh, no pun intended, sure, SM58, I'm pretty sure, um, probably not many of you will have gotten that joke, but yes, um, I think she's using a Sennheiser mic, and the only way I can explain it is for the, the sound of, and tonality of her voice, if it is one of the mics I think it is, they're definitely, I can see why that choice was made, because they're very well suited to her type of voice so yeah there's obviously a lot of great decisions going on here with the microphone choices being used on stage and how things were captured working with great instruments as well everything tonally sounds very good here yeah it's, it's just great all around great production you know i know there's some of those imbalances there with the guitar levels and stuff but all around i think this is a very good production and excellent performance um a, a great band just just so much confidence so much stage presence showmanship a great songwriting yeah just all around great stuff anyway let's listen to the rest of the song <laughs> I love that bass tone. Yeah, that was awesome. I really enjoyed that. Um, like I said, great all round production, great performances. Um, really, in particular, I love the bass tone 
really really like the vocal and how that was captured it just sounded yeah really clean really smooth tonally I uh, sort of brought out all the presence of her voice well without sounding like overly harsh or anything um didn't sound like too compressed or anything it's just really ban well balanced in the mix um yeah nice nice balance of everything in general the drums sounded good if a little compressed and the guitars you know at points they were getting a little bit lost but generally overall and and you know i think the performance is that good that they become less of a problem when you've got a great performance the music outshines kind of any you know little technical niggles like that yeah great band really really good really enjoyed that anyway i hope you guys enjoyed the video found it interesting let me know in the comments uh what you thought of the the sound of the production what your thoughts are on the band if there's anything else you would like me to check out by them i have got a lot of recommendations at the moment of, from you know various people and different bands so trying to get through everything if if i can i probably won't but you know i'll give it my best shot but don't let that stop you recommending other stuff by this band to me anyway i hope you enjoyed this and i will see you guys again in the next one